Oh, what's the matter, Tate? Yeah, we're leaking oil. Seriously? Yeah, got maybe a balloon block. Who? God only knows. Look at this shit. Oh no. Hi, I'm Tate. And I'm Danny. This is our story. In 2015, we quit our jobs and embarked on a five-year world adventure. We sailed from New Orleans to Panama, lived in exotic locations, swam with sharks, and ate a ton of fish. But we are just getting started. In 2016, we put our boat Sundowner on the hard and started a new adventure in our Class A RV. Join us as we explore North America. We have no hard plans and no idea where we'll end up. What a way to live. After nine days on the Natchez Trace with no hookups, we refreshed our systems and spent the night at the Flying Jays in Knoxville, Tennessee. The next stop was Tate's uncle's house, not far from the Smoky Mountains in Fort Mill, South Carolina. So we're here at Tate's uncle David's house. He is sick with the flu. Can you believe it? So Tate has made us a delicious um, specialty. Tortilla soup. Near disaster, uh, we noticed a lot of oil coming out the vehicle when we got here to South Carolina. And uh, I've been up under it and looked into it, and I think we have an oil cooler line or one of the junctions or something like that is leaking. It could have been a lot worse, like a cracked motor or something like that, but uh, I think we can fix this. Maybe we've dodged a bullet. We'll see. <laughs> We are headed to the shop again to check out this oil leak. Hopefully it's nothing. Uncle Dave knew every mechanic in town, so we dropped our old girl off and waited for the news. Tate's uncle's feeling better. He's all ready from the flu, and we're going to take these four-wheelers riding. property near his house was a playground. Beautiful winding rivers were everywhere. Friday night or Saturday night, we get liquored up, want to shoot fireworks? This is the spot? Yes sir. Sweet. Doesn't mean the house is back over there. So we're not, nobody can complain, no one can bitch, we're in South Carolina. Uncle Dave's a bachelor except for Tinkerbell and his dog Boudreaux. You can't take Louisiana out of the man. Look at those shrimp. Mm. There you go. We took a trip to a local cigar shop on one of Uncle David's motorcycles. This is quite a foreign vehicle for me. Oh my god, motorcycles are so much fun. We just had to check out the local inventory. We went to see a 1996 BMW touring bike. This bike had a dead battery though, so it needed a jump. Sounds easy enough. Or maybe it isn't. How many men does it take to replace a dead battery? Apparently four. We took that puppy for a test drive. Go well, how to do? Good. Yeah. You got it working? Oh yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Oh my god, what have you done to us, Uncle David? I haven't done anything. We had to pass on the battery bike. It was in too rough a shape. What you cooking there, baby? Steak. Steaks. <laughs> I don't know any of these words y'all are throwing out there. As the spice kept flowing, things got interesting. Uncle Dave here gets these fireworks defective and damaged from the uh, Chinese fireworks shop. And then uh, he brings them here and tries to see if they'll work and try not to blow off any fingers. Clarence. Clarence. So I bought them. The later it got, 
the bigger the explosions got. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. Run. Run, Danny. Run. Oh, hey, no. Jesus Christ. Nice. nice. <laughs> Until we were good and liquored up. So I thought we were just gonna shoot some artillery shells, but we are shooting everything. Yeah, light. He's light. Box, box, box. It's so cool! Wow! But all this fun was a mere distraction from the trouble that Ra was in. So we just got the news back that the uh, the problem with the RV is exactly what I expected. Um, one of the, the O-ring seals on the uh, where the oil cooler line joins with the block on the radiator had failed. And it's exactly the price I thought they were going to charge us for it. It's $300 roughly. And uh, I just, you know, I don't like to eat that. It's something I could have done myself, but I don't want to do it in my uncle's driveway. We're going to pay for it. But I think we really dodged a bullet. Anytime I see oil coming out the bottom of a vehicle, I get really nervous. You know, you start thinking, like, is a head gasket blown? Is a, a, a main seal gone? A rear seal gone? Is the oil pan cracked or something terrible like that? But uh, luckily, it was just an over. Tate and I have had so much fun riding his Uncle David's motorcycles, but now we're kind of on a mission to get our own. And we're on our way to look at a BMW one in Dallas, North Carolina. This BMW R1100RT was Tate's dream bike back in the day. We struck a deal for $2,800 and brought our new baby home. I've never been the motorcycle riding type. In fact, before this, I've barely ridden motorcycles. But I knew that Tate had ridden a lot in the past. However, when I met him, he didn't have any motorcycles at that point. But he's told me all of his history, and I feel really safe and comfortable riding with him. And it has been so much fun. Uh, it's going to change our trip around the country for sure. <laughs> How long has it been since you've had a bike? Uh, eight years. Eight years and what about before that what's your experience with motorcycles I've had uh, four motorcycles I have over a hundred and thirty thousand miles riding god that's a lot um, I for a long time for years my primary vehicle was a motorcycle in fact I didn't even own a car or a truck for a time about a year I just had an R6 Right, and you've never crashed a motorcycle. Uh, knock on wood, I've never dropped one, I've never been in a wreck, I've never been in an accident. Um, no problem. Yeah, and you're really excited about this new one, huh? It's fun. Yeah, we're gonna go see the country in a motorcycle. The Carolinas are a premier motorcycling location, and we could not wait to take our new bike on a long ride. We met up with our friends OJ and Katie for a trip through the hilly countryside. I know, I know, I need more clothes. Tate and I don't buy anything new, pretty much. And motorcycle Except underwear. Yeah, we do buy new underwear. <laughs> motorcycle gear is really expensive, but it's important to be safe. So we got on eBay and Craigslist, and we got Tate's helmet. It's usually like 500 bucks. We got it for $130. This is a $300 jacket that we got for 50 bucks. This is a $200 jacket that I got for 20, and this is a $300 helmet that I got for $75 shipped from Oregon. It's like a glove. Since we bought the motorcycle in North Carolina, there's a little bit of a process we have to go through to get the vehicle registered in Louisiana, which is where our RV insurance is and our motorcycle insurance. Louisiana requires a notarized bill of sale for the motorcycle, notarized title. We have to fill out this odometer statement, the vehicle application, and insurance. We have to take all of these documents and some money 
and mail it uh, to my mom in Louisiana who thank God is going to help us register the vehicle. She's going to take everything, go to the DMV, register it, she'll get a plate, and then she'll mail it to us wherever we are, general delivery to the post office. So seems quite a process, but we'll get it going and, uh, and we'll be legal on the road, registered in our home state. <laughs> Before this, I've never really ridden motorcycles before at all, and I'm a little freaked out by the motions and things I'm not used to, like when you lean so far over, I feel like I'm going to hit the pavement, and so Tate is here with a safety minute to tell me why I shouldn't worry. Motorcycles like sailboats, the further they lean over, the harder they are to tip over if they're moving. Uh, gyroscopic force uh, counteracts the, the leaning over. In fact, if you watch videos of crashes on YouTube and you see a rider get knocked off the bike or they fall down, most of the time if the bike doesn't hit anything it'll actually pop back up on its own and keep going. That's because gyroscopic force is, uh, is trying to right the motorcycle. It's an amazing machine. It balances itself. I have such a smart husband. Thanks, baby. Now we have to find a trailer. We've been scouring Craigslist for about a week now, and we have one that we have in mind that's a fold-up Kinden trailer, and it's in Denver, North Carolina. We bought the bike in Dallas, and the trailer is in Denver. This place has some really crazy names. We're just going to put it on the back. It's like a ball hitch trailer, and um, Tate's going to have to learn how to drive with it. We paid $700 for the trailer, and we had to use an act of Congress to get the bill of sale notarized, and also a ball hitch that worked with the RV. We had a lot of issues, but finally, five hours later, we hooked the trailer up to the RV and brought it home. We're just now getting around to installing the backup camera that connects to the GPS via Bluetooth. We've had a little bit of an issue trying to figure out how to give it power, um, but I think Tate's got an idea. This will help us be able to see our motorcycle when we're driving down the road and also um, other vehicles and parking. Tate couldn't leave dear old Dave's house without cooking up some of his famous homemade gumbo with shrimp, chicken, and sausage. We gathered up our belongings and prepared to leave. It's been nearly a decade since Tate's done this. With a little practice, he'll be golden. So you got her all strapped up, huh, Tate? Yep, she's ready to go. How did you do? What did you do? It's just normal motorcycle strap procedure. Compression of the front forks from a safe spot with soft ties, um, which holds the front of the bike. It holds it upright. You can't go back or forth because of the wheel chalk. Um, that's pretty much all you really need, but the uh, back just holds it from swinging and swaying in the back. Much less important. Right. So we got our nice bike rack, and we got a motorcycle trailer, and we're ready to go. Yeah, our backup camera is working. You can see the motorcycle and the bicycles. It's awesome. While the Natchez Trace was lined with winter's bare trees, our departure from South Carolina was trimmed with the markings of a new season. Spring is here. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the thumbs up button below. If you didn't, please leave us a comment and let us know what we can do better. Thank you so much for watching.